Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my God. Won't he do it, Jesus? Lord, Father, we thank you for today. We thank you for every blessing, every downfall, every negative aspect, every bad thing, every word of no that you have given when I have asked for a certain prayer. Father, I thank you for your no's. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. So we're going to jump right into this. Um, Y'all, look at my skin, y'all. My God. <laughs> what are you doing, Jesus? Come on, my God. Y'all, now I have a little bit of makeup on and I have some like lip gloss on, but don't get it twisted. My skin is flourishing. I did have like, um, I did have like a miniature breakout. However, I will always take the miniature breakouts from the major breakouts. Like I will always take the miniature breakouts more any day than the major breakouts so that's why you just saw me itching my neck because it'll hit my neck first before it like takes over my whole face so that's how you know i've had so many breakouts that i literally know when it's about to start and i will literally pop an allergy medicine or a benadryl however um we're gonna jump into it so um I wanted to reveal to you guys what my second food is that I noticed that does give me the severe allergic reaction. So the second food is, drum roll please. The second food is cashews, okay? Let me tell you what cashews does to me. Cashews will give me a huge rash on my neck It'll be itchy, all that stuff. It gets like the same reaction as eczema. So itchy, all that stuff. It'll be like a huge rash on my neck. And then I notice like in between my thighs, <laughs> a whole fight, sis, a whole fight. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So um, that's what I noticed about that food. So I literally revealed two foods to you. I have two more foods that I know for a fact do cause allergic reactions to me. I will reveal that in upcoming videos, so stay tuned. However, we're gonna continue with these love and skin and self affirmations. So Danny, you are beautiful. You are the bombs.com girl. There is none like you, my girl, okay? You are changing the world. You will always be changing the world because that is your heart to change the world, to help others, to be something different in this world of normalness okay because girl you are not normal you are outside of the normal you are the normal outside of the box that people are seeing and are loving and are taking into account who you are you have been through a lot and because of that that makes you who you are for a certain reason and even though you may not know what that reason is yet you will find that reason and god will bless you for chasing that reason and becoming the difference in this world of Everybody wanted to be the same. So girl, I praise you. I give you praise. In addition to God, girl, I give you praise. I give you the love that you have not given yourself. And for that, you need to realize that love belongs to you. You are love. You come from love, which is God. Okay, so never forget that your skin is beautiful. Your eyes are beautiful. Your lips are beautiful. Your nose is beautiful. Your forehead, girl, that thing is gorgeous, honey, okay? Your skin is everything and you will be on the billboards all over the world and being known and also be known as the women that change the world of everyone around her because what you brought to light the things that aggravate your body and your skin and you will be rewarded for that and many will see and know you and love you because you made a difference. So keep pushing, keep loving and continue to love yourself. Bye, honey pie. Oh, wait, before we get off, I want to show you guys what, um, because I created like a self-love wall. I haven't been looking at it lately. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. I want to tell the truth on here. Um, but I wanted to show you guys a self-love wall that I created for myself. Um, I'm going to show y'all. So anytime I have an issue or I'm struggling with anything concerning me that I need to deal with at the moment that might be bothering me, I began to put like sticky notes on the wall to remind myself that I am more than what I see. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys. Hold on. I'm just going to put it against the wall and then you can see it. I'm going to read it out loud as we go along each line. So here it is. 
So the first one says, your eyes are gorgeous. Your tears don't make you weak. You are sexy. You are beautiful. Your hair is beautiful. The love you given will be given back to you. Your body is amazing. Your heart is kind. You are not afraid to love anymore. That was a big one, y'all. That was a really big one. Um, your melanin is one of a kind. You are cherished. Your past has made you stronger. No woman is as beautiful as you. And that I had to learn because I was constantly comparing myself to other women like, damn, she's so pretty or damn, her hair is so curly and so pretty. I wish my hair was curly and pretty and long and nice as hers. I was doing the most of myself. And why? For what reason? God made me who I am for a reason, right? So I got to cherish who I am and what I am right now for my reason. You understand? So anyway, um, your body is sexy. Your heart is healed. Ooh! I'm about to tell on myself because listen, let me tell y'all, when I first met my boyfriend, I was so freaking broken. So broken that I didn't know if I was going to get past it. So when he met me, he was like, babe, no, you can't be like this. What you need to start doing, put little post-its. He inspired me to do this. He was like, you need to put little post-its around and anything that you struggle with put it on that wall and say it to yourself what boyfriend you know is gonna encourage you to do that huh oh my god anyway so yes your heart is healed someone prayed for you that's big um no matter how you look you are beautiful you are someone's blessing You are someone's blessing. So even if that means I go to the supermarket and I pay for somebody's groceries, or if that means I see somebody struggling, they can't cross the street, I'll hold their hand and I help them cross the street during COVID. My God, he will bless me in Jesus name. Or if I see like um, um, somebody at work that's a new nurse that needs to learn something and they're afraid to ask and I can sense in my spirit that they're afraid to ask for help I will literally stop what I'm doing and go and help that new nurse that doesn't know what they're doing like you are somebody's blessing my god anyway and this last one you are so special that's big because for those of you that don't know my story, I did struggle with a lot of depression and anxiety. And when you're going through those moments, you feel like you're nothing. So to read that and to know that I am special, that's a really big deal. So yeah, y'all, I just wanted to show y'all my inspiration board. Um, stay tuned for the other um, foods that I'm allergic to. In my last like final finale, I will do I will show you guys the, the blood test that I did, um, which also helped and confirmed a lot of things. Um, but that's it. Um, shout out to me actually doing my hair today, huh? Huh? No, it's not perm, sis. It's not perm. This is a perm rod set, but it is not perm. My hair is still natural. <laughs> my God, Father, we thank you for releasing me from my laziness because I was not going to do my hair today. But I said, God, I got goals to attain, so I'm going to do it. And I did it. And we are here. <laughs> All right, y'all. So I will see y'all later. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye.